welcome back. Olivia Fildes Romantic Home. And in today's video, I am so excited to share with you some DIY easy Dollar Tree projects. And I want to thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video. So you guys, recently I popped into my local Dollar Tree and picked up some goodies that I could use to jazz up my kitchen and pantry area. And I'm going to share with you guys in this video how I'm using the Cricut to really customize these goodies and make them even a little bit more fabulous. And this Cricut Joy is an amazing little tool. It is truly becoming my DIY best friend and I can't wait to share you guys more about it. So let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns, get out your glitter and vinyl and let's get to crafting. So in this video, the first order of business is to tackle my pantry. I have got to get an organization system put into place. I organized it last year, but it has become disorganized again. And then I have my two little trusty assistants. We have Benji Bear and then his BFF, Theo, who is my son's dog. They're gonna be helping me. The first thing we did was take everything out of the pantry and the puppy dogs really were excited about what was going on in the kitchen and tried to eat snacks off the floor as I pulled everything out and here is what I'm left with. Can you guys believe that all of this fit into my pantry? And I have just like a little pantry closet. It's nothing fancy, but all of this needs to be put into order. Now I ordered these rags off of Amazon. I really love them. I'll link them in my Amazon store, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean my pantry. This is real life, you guys. Um, I feel like the pantry just is a constant source of clutter for our family. I have a tiny kitchen and so it just really needs to be cleaned and organized. And the other thing I wanna share with you guys is I did use some contact paper to put down on my pantry shelves to make it a little bit better. The next thing I had to do was go through everything in my pantry and believe it or not, I had applesauce, like tons of it that was out of date. So I tossed the things that were out of date and no longer um, usable. And then I took some of my larger pantry items that go stale really easy, like these veggie straws, and I did pop them in to some of these airtight containers from Walmart, believe it or not. And look at these two guys. They are really big helpers. And check this out. Look at what we were left with. Using a couple of Dollar Tree bins and my little Cricut Joy to make some labels, I think this is a fabulous transformation. So I decided to create some pantry labels using the Cricut Joy. And the Cricut Joy is Cricut's smallest smart cutting machine that they have ever created. It fits easily in any craft space and looks great on a counter. The Cricut Joy packs easily and sets up instantly, making it super easy to move from room to room, which I absolutely love. It is the perfect companion to quickly and easily personalize anything with one cut and one color in 15 minutes or less. You would not believe how quickly I was able to create these pantry labels and have a beautiful organized pantry. The Cricut Joy is so fun, functional, and simple to use. It's practical for everyday projects and they have never been more accessible or easier to create. So I have to tell you all how easy it is to use the Cricut Joy. It's easy to set up. It allows DIYers like you and I to get up and running with projects so quickly, which I love. I am always busy and I'm a little bit impatient. I really like to get things done quickly. With the Cricut Design Space on your desktop or your phone or any mobile device, you can design and make from anywhere with it quickly and easily. So check out how adorable these pantry bins from the Dollar Tree turn out with my little customized labels. I even customized and labeled my little dog and cat food. It's always super annoying every morning when I have to feed them and I can't figure out which food is which. And so I feel like creating labels really makes things go from drab, as you guys can see, my before pantry. It just really needed a good tidy up and then now I have an actual system. And creating an organized system is really for me the key to keeping up with keeping everything organized organized. And I also love these little Walmart containers with the snap top lids. Those are really great for big snack packs and keeping everything fresh. Now, because of its design, Cricut Joy uses Cricut Smart Materials, which are different from other vinyl and paper. These materials are designed to work without a cutting mat, so there's less to buy and less to transport. And that is the biggest thing for me, is how small it is, compact, it's easy, and I really love not having to use that sticky mat with this Smart Vinyl. I'm telling you guys, it is such a game changer, and it has me hooked on this little DIY Cricut. 
I also have to share with you all these super adorable labels I made in this aqua color. Again, using the exact same font, but a little bit different style with the little circles on it. And these match my like Pioneer Woman collection of goodies. So I organized my rice and my pasta and all of my baking supplies. And because my kitchen is such a small kitchen, it's so important to have everything organized and labeled. And that way everybody in the family can also cook and just know where everything is at. So again, using my little Cricut Joy, this was so easy, fun, and fabulous. And then just here's kind of an overview of my super organized kitchen. Now I wanna share with you guys how I created that adorable little pantry sign. I'm gonna use some crafters square adhesive cork sheet and then this little Dollar Tree canvas piece. And I'm going to cut the cork sheet to fit the size of the canvas and then overlay that on top of the canvas. Now, once I had my canvas cork ready, I created a super easy little pantry label, again, in this aqua color to match my little Pioneer Woman kitchen. And I just used the Smart Vinyl and my Cricut Joy. I easily printed it off, no mat required. And then I'm just using this little Cricut Joy weeding tool to get the excess pieces of the vinyl off that I don't need. And this is just such a satisfying thing to me. I used some transfer tape and then I just took my little tool and made sure the transfer tape adhered to my pantry sign. And then once I had that finished, I could peel that off and I have this amazing little pantry label. And I'm telling you, I showed this to my husband and he was so impressed. He knows that I really struggle with writing lettering. And so this is just such a game changer for me. I think it's really gonna up my DIY game. You easily pop it onto whatever project you're using and then of course you guys know I have to go super extra so I decided to take these little Dollar Tree straws these are paper straws that are available right now in the spring fling section of your Dollar Tree and I'm going to use the paper straws to outline this little sign so I needed a sign in my pantry that I could use easily um, that I could write down whatever pantry items that we were out of and I also wanted to have a little spot where I could make some cute little notes for the fam bam just saying I love you and hello and good morning and so I thought this little sign was going to be perfect I'm using these little felt flowers that I found at Dollar Tree as well and I'm just going to pop them on to either side of my pantry where um, the little straws were a little bit too short and then I'm taking some little mini um, clothes pins and I'm hot gluing those underneath the pantry sign and I did measure them in advance to make sure that my little post-it notes would stick on here and so easily they'll hold several little post-it notes and I can write out whatever pantry items that I need to um, put on my grocery order and then I also wanted to have one that I could write little loved ones notes to so it's just my thing as a mom I always write little notes and it's so cute because now my daughter is also a note writer as well so I'm popping it into the back of my pantry, right in the center part where everybody can see it. And hopefully this will help us remember when we run out of tortillas or bread or cereal or snacks, we can just pop it onto this list. And then we can also make little notes to each other. So I thought it looked really super adorable. It's probably one of my favorite projects in this DIY. And the next one I wanted to do was customize a Pioneer Woman kind of inspired little oven mitt. And I found this really cute label that says life is what you bake it. Now this one I'm using my smart iron on in this really kind of pretty metallic color. It's super easy. You just print it and cut it just like you would do any little item. And then I'm taking my Cricut Easy Press and I'm heating up the little oven mitt. This is a little Dollar Tree oven mitt. And I'm popping on my little transfer life is what you bake it. And then you use your Cricut Easy Press press you press it down for 30 seconds this is so easy to use and the easy press is amazing because it heats everything evenly and it makes your label stick right on there no fuss no muss this is the first time ever done an easy press transfer and it came out perfect the only thing I have to remind you guys of is make sure you mirror your image because I did not and so it printed out backwards the first time so learn from my mistake <laughs> Now, 
for the next Dollar Tree DIY. I'm just show you guys how to make super adorable little customized pet bandanas. Of course, I made one for my special little guy, Benji Bear. And again, I just used the same um, a little heat press and one of these Dollar Tree bandanas and you want to warm up your project first so you just press it down using your heat press and then I also have a little heat press mat underneath this and again it heats and warms perfectly now it is a hot tool so you have to be really careful and I printed out Benji Bear which is my puppy dog and I'm just going to pop it on here and it already knows exactly by the fabric how long it needs to go on there so you pop it on there and it just works perfectly you guys it heats evenly and you have this perfect little project and so you do want to set it aside and let it um, cool off and then you can just peel off your little customized label. So I was so proud of myself for making this one. This was the second um, little project that I made using the heat press. And again, you just use the Cricut Smart Vinyl so you don't need any kind of mat. You pop it through your Cricut Joy. And this was already with a lettering that was on my um, Cricut templates. So you guys don't even have to think about it. You just search for what you want to make and then print it out and then pop it on and Benji Bear was loving his little scarf. I thought it looked so cool and I even teased my husband that I might go into the customized pet scarf making business. Oh my gosh I was so excited to make this. So comment down below and say hi to Benji Bear. The next thing I wanted to try making was a customized card. So my sister is getting married this year and I wanted to make a beautiful congratulations wedding card for her. And so again, I'm using my Cricut Joy and they have these little card inserts that you guys pop on to the little card making mat and it's already measured. All you have to do is go into the Cricut design space and select whatever beautiful card you want to make. And then you click on make it and boom, you have this super Super amazing card it cuts everything for you and the little mat is already measured so you just select the measurement or the size and I have all of these beautiful cards the Cricut card combination pack comes with 12 insert cards and then it has a pretty little card to go behind it to really highlight um, the beauty of the card that you're making and I'll share that with you guys it's just so neat and so amazing and again my husband was really impressed with this one as well idea to jazz up your card is to grab some of these cute little bling jewels from Dollar Tree and I'm just cutting them apart to make them a little bit smaller and I wanted to kind of highlight the beauty of this card. I didn't want to cover any parts of it up because it's so beautiful and detailed and intricate but to make it a little bit more personalized she is a glam girl and super fabulous. Um, I thought adding this bling would be just amazing and beautiful and it can be like a gift in itself like a keepsake and a beautiful card like this that has tons of detail like this would definitely be about eight to ten dollars at your local target and we made this for so much less expensive and the other thing that's great about this is it's made with love which of course I love doing that with all of my beautiful goodies but it says on your wedding day and then you can customize it on the inside of it to make it say whatever you want it to and it has this little holographic detail on it which I think is so beautiful and it almost is giving like a shimmering rainbow effect which I didn't even know until I was looking back and creating this video and I was like wow that is so cool. And then I decided to go a little bit extra as well. And I love getting bling jewels off of totallydazzle.com. I'll leave a link below. It's Natalie, she's a small business, but um, check her out. And so here is one of those little Totally Dazzled jewels. And you guys could even make it like a keepsake card. You don't even have to do a wedding. It could be for anything, it could be birthday, anniversary, whatever suits your fancy, and whatever kind of occasion that you have. The Cricut um, Design Space has so many different options 
options to choose from. So I'm super excited to be able to do this. And it literally just took like a couple of seconds to print out. And there you have it. You have this beautiful customized card and you can be dazzle it any way you want, or you could just leave it as is. You can choose from so many different colors as well that come in that cute little card pack. Now for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I have to share with you guys how to make a super adorable little egg sign. And again, I went into Cricut Design Space, I typed in Easter sign, and I found this super cute little Peter Cottontail egg farm transfer. And so I just printed it out on my smart vinyl. I don't even need the mat again. And I just used my little weeding tool and popped the little extra goodies out. And then I'm using some transfer tape. I'm going to overlay that on top of, top of my little egg farm sign and then I'm gonna have a super adorable very professional looking um, Peter Cottontail egg farm sign and I wanted to pop it on to this little heart-shaped wooden um, sign that I picked up from Dollar Tree it's actually back from Valentine's Day but I'm really digging into my craft stash I just thought it would be super cute to add in to a space either in my kitchen or my dining room and so I'm using my little scraper tool and making sure that my transfer is all ready um, this is a little bit more of a detailed project so I did have to really kind of um, look at all the details and make sure I had all the little extra goodies out and make sure also that the transfer came off properly and then once your transfer is pulled off you can just take and use your little scraper again and push that down onto whatever surface it is that you're using and I felt like it worked really good on this Dollar Tree blank and Dollar Tree in their crafter square section now sells so many different blanks for you to use and so I was so excited because they have so many neat little signs like this in the Cricut Design Space to choose from. I mean, really professional looking, absolutely adorable. So all you guys have to do is pick up a blank. Now I thought to jazz it up, it would be super cute to add in some little bunnies. I have a really whimsical kind of Mackenzie Child inspired table setting. And so I'm using these little Cricut, it's, this is deluxe paper and it's already has an adhesive backing to it. So you don't necessarily have to use the transfer tape. Now it is kind of like a cardstock paper. So if you wanted it to be, you know, really vinyl-y, I guess you may want to use transfer tape, but I just wanted to share with you guys a different, um, you know, idea for how you guys can create something. Now, so for this one, I am I'm using a sticky mat and I'm going to pop the little cardstock onto the sticky mat and choose the little bunny from the design space and just print that out and it was super easy again you guys this is so user friendly and I love how it prompts you to select whatever materials you have and everything is just like so user friendly I'm telling you if I can do this you guys can do this I promise you um, and again I just pop that onto my cute adorable sign and voila I have a fabulous little Easter sign on a budget using just one of those little Dollar Tree wooden blanks and if you have your smart vinyl and your transfer tape it is so easy and so fun to create these I think the sky is gonna be the limit I cannot wait to make like Christmas ornaments and just fall signs and summer signs signs. You guys, we're going to have so much fun with this. So I hope you guys are inspired and I want to thank you guys for being here. Now I do have a secret question in this video for a giveaway, so don't miss out on that. So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous Crafty Decor adventure. It is a true blessing and honor to have you all here. Thank you Cricut for sponsoring today's video. I am truly in love with this little Cricut Joy. I love its size. It is small, compact, easy to use, and it is so truly user friendly. It is a game changer and it is really becoming my DIY best friend. If y'all are new, welcome. I'm Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home. I'm a DIY crafty mama. I love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. Y'all don't have to break the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home. I would love to have you subscribe to this YouTube channel, punch that bell. I will update you every time I post a new video. I post several videos a week on YouTube with tons of DIY crafty decor, um, ideas, projects, 
projects, a little bit of tidying, baking, and organizing along the way. Thank you guys again for being here. And if you want daily crafty inspiration, pop over to my Libby's Romantic Home Facebook page, you guys. I would love to have you all over there. I have a free little group page you guys can join. Again, it's totally free. And you can post photos for your home decor, DIY projects, maybe your thrift store outfits of the day, and even some pantry organizing. Um, actually, I really love to organize almost as much as I love to craft. It's just sometimes it's hard to get started. So I hope you guys are inspired and I want to thank you guys again. I feel like crafting and decorating is so good for your heart and soul. So I want to encourage you all to keep up the good work. Now listen, I am giving away a Cricut Joy on this video. So you guys drop a comment down below and let me know what is your favorite place in your home to organize. Um, mine actually is my pantry. It's probably one of my go-to spots. We're in and out of our pantry so many times a day and I feel like getting it organized and functional is definitely something that has been on my to-do list and I was happy to tackle it and share this idea with you guys. Um, of course, there's things that I want to tweak along the way and with any organization system, it feels like you really do need to kind of live with it. So anyway, I hope you guys are inspired. I love y'all to the moon and back. I'm wishing you a gorgeous blessed day and until the next video, remember be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another and we'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.